Alrighty then, if you are going to be using one of these around any of these and there's a potential of hitting these, you need to stay tuned. Okay, welcome back and uh, thanks for checking in. If you're new to the channel, um, my name is Nathan. I'm based down here in sunny South Wales. Um, Owner, operator, director, whichever the appropriate one is of Lewis Garden Services. And I'm going to show you a tip, a real handy tip that could save you hundreds, if not thousands, in revenue for um, weed whackers, line strimmers, brush cutters, strimmers, weed eaters, whichever you want to call them. Um, they all have the potential to make a noise when you're using them. And it's a noise that when you hear it, you know is going to cost you your whole day money, more or less. Um, it's that pop of a window smashing. Um, I use this on clearing jobs more than maintenance jobs because on maintenance contracts I've more or less got the edges sorted out between chippings and lawns but there's always that one stone that you can't account for. Um, I'm going to show you what it is. Real simple. Okay that bag of goodies is about 10-20 pounds worth uh, depending on where you get the stuff. I'll show you what it is now. Okay we have some suction cuts. A microfiber cloth, some window or glass cleaner, and some old curtains. And this is how we stop windows from smashing. Easy. Okay, so you stick your suction cups on the windows nice and high, get your curtains with the backing on. And simply hook them on. Alright, so that's it, real simple. Some old curtains you can get from a charity shop or a thrift shop, go there, the person behind the counter says £10, we'll give them 20 because it's for charity. Um, you can stick these little sucker cups on the window, put your curtains on, you're good to go. Um, they will take out all the momentum of a stone and save your window. Right, when you finish, you take your curtains off. You then just take the sucker cups off. Just remove the circles, give it a spray. And then you are good to go. If you're just starting out in this business, there's lots of tips there. This is one I would recommend because, like I say, three, four hundred pounds to get a glazier out, board up a window, and replace it is not a fun day. So that's my handy tip. You guys take care, and I'll uh, catch you again.